Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back there, Daily Crypto News and Analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Ripple and XRP, so let's just dive in and let's talk about a few things. So, first and foremost, the overall market. I am expecting a volatile week ahead. Let's see how the you know indice opening does look in regards to crypto, but I was actually expecting the weekend to be a little bit more volatile for Bitcoin and this overall market, but we just did not see that. And, uh, you know, in my regards to Bitcoin's price action, like we are still trading on diminished volume until we do see a lot more volume pour in on Bitcoin. I'm not going to get excited about us being over 20K because honestly, we have not been able to break 22K, which is, you know, fairly weak. And it really kind of shows the weakness behind the volume on Bitcoin. Now, XRP has been trading around like the 36 cent region. I'm still waiting to see if we do get down into like the, you know, high 20 cent range or even possibly like the mid, you know, 20 cent range. I'd love to load up at around like 25 to 27 cents. Um, and my, you know, low targets are around like 22 cents. So let's see what the market has in store in regards to like the 24 hour span. Uh, we've been seeing some altcoins like Dogecoin jumping out as funny as it is and on the seven day span you guys do see like the double digit figures in regards to the altcoin market uh things are looking pretty good right now in regards to the altcoin market but i do suspect that those will turn um uh, or do a 180 turn um if bitcoin does you know drop below 20k uh which i am expecting let's see you know how the week looks in regards to like indices opening and things like that now i do want to talk to you guys about the sec lawsuit in regards to xrp so we do see from Johnny Deaton, and I do have a few tweets from Johnny Deaton. Actually, I have three uh, here, um, and we're going to be talking about them. So first off, unpopular tweet, because the EO in the Loomis bill minimized SEC's role, many believe a likelihood is that Gary Gensler will opt to settle the XRP case. It's logical. Take a win while you can. Um, you know, it could have the opposite effect. Roll the dice for a win to say, you know, we were right. And I'm going to go over these three tweets real quick, and then I'm going to summarize them um, and my thoughts on them. And uh, we also do see here, so um, this is actually from uh, XRP Crow. He's quoting this tweet saying, if XRP is deemed a security, then almost every altcoin in existence is a security, making the Ripple XRP case of massive importance to the industry. And uh, I'm going to read just the beginning of, you know, Johnny Deaton's response, because a, a lot of people are saying, like, why was XLM targeted, not XRP, um, or sorry, why was XRP targeted, not XLM? And uh, we do see the honest answer is that Stellar is not a threat to the cartel banking system. And uh, yeah, I completely agree. We're going to be addressing that as well. And then, of course, dear Lucy, I and 68,000 of my friends, along the help you know of great work from independent organizations like Empower US, have uncovered you know present day corruption um, at the SEC. That should be added to your insight uh, you know timeline. And then, of course, he goes on, you know, to mention, you know, CryptoLaw.us and how there is also emails uncovered by Jason Foster and Empower US that, you know, demonstrate the SEC's ethics office. Um, even concluded criminal conflict laws uh, were being broken as well. And uh, last but not least, real quick, in regards to the SEC, from Eleanor uh, Tourette, Bo uh, Fox Business journalist and producer, the House Appropriations uh, Committee has approved a bill that recommends funding amounts uh, to the various you know government agencies for the upcoming fiscal fiscal year. Sorry, um, and they are recommending just over 2.2 billion dollars go to the SEC Gov, um, but they did make you know a, a few requ uh, requests relating to crypto. We do see new financial products require require uh, clear uh, pathways and regulatory structures for stakeholders, developers, and investors. The committee is con uh, concerned that enforcement action in the absence of regulatory clarity invoked confusion in the growing sector. The committee encourages the SEC to issue public guidance that promotes U.S.-based innovation. In other words, here's the money you know you requested to regulate crypto, but please try to not spend it all on regulation by enforcement cases and provide some clarity instead. And uh, yeah, I think that this is very interesting, actually. We're going to be addressing this as well. Now, let's go back to the first tweet. So in regards to the XRP lawsuit, yes, I do think that this is probably one of the largest SEC or not SECs, uh, but largest litigation cases um, in the history around finance. Uh, when we really kind of look at XRP, you know, to me, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. Is, you know, Ripple going to win? It's, you know... To me, I would say that they have a very, very high chance of winning, especially in regards to like the corruption around this lawsuit. And we should be hoping and praying for XRP to win. A lot of individuals in crypto, and I try to explain XRP to a lot of individuals in crypto all the time, 
they always just look at me with like a confused look saying like oh it's centralized it's garbage whatever and I don't even try to argue it's just like whatever if you don't want to do your own research and you don't want to you know look for five seconds to understand you know that XRP is much larger than anyone really kind of perceives it to be in crypto then so be it um, but to me you know XRP was targeted out of all of the other tokens in the space there's over 20,000 tokens in the space this lawsuit would have been over day one if it if the sec went um after any other asset in the space we look at you know ripple and we look at what they were doing during that time in regards to the lawsuit and they were selling xrp on the open market for odl customers to utilize it as liquidity and the sec basically said you failed to register xrp as a security because that's basically what they were saying that it is because they were selling it to you know companies like moneygram for an example to utilize on-demand liquidity services utilizing xrp as the liquidity source and uh, they did not like that and you know the funny thing is is that like everybody will laugh and you know say oh you know whatever xrp you know is in a lawsuit you know let it go to zero blah 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 like we even seen individuals in regards to like anthony pompliano uh laugh at you know xrp during the lawsuit inception and it's funny because i don't think that people realize that you know xrp like this entire market in regards to like the health of the altcoin market relies on xrp winning and i think that that's where everybody gets confused and also the reason why xrp was targeted is simple you know they are going after the cartel banking system i've always said it's a monopoly they are disrupting the food chain at its source and people are not going to like that you're going to put a target on your back also in regards to like the you know massive corruption i highly advise all of you to go check out this tweet from johnny deaton uh that is quoting you know um royal 576 it's decades over it's over decades of information regarding the sec's corruption and again i also do think that this is also the the reason why like when we look at this lawsuit if xrp does you know get you know regulatory clarity and ripple wins it's going to be a bad day for the sec because i also do think that we will see a major investigation launched on the sec to target all of the corruption that the xrp community together has put together and it's it, it's a you know damning amount of information so definitely pay attention to this and definitely go check it out and also i just want to say this 2.2 billion dollars that's going to the sec gov you know if this does you know in, in regards to like the guidance that they gave the sec in regards to like crypto regulations and crypto targeting i think that this is great in regards to you know the idea on it but we know that this is not going to do anything this 2.2 billion dollars will probably go to again targeting crypto projects ta targeting you know crypto use cases as well um and really trying to just kill crypto at this point and we don't know what this 2.2 billion dollars is really going to go towards but we've seen that like they wanted to hire over like 400 plus you know new employees and things like that so again you know to me i don't know it it's a hard day to really kind of be you know very hopeful on the idea that like Oh, well, you know, Ripple's going to win and the SEC is not going to be here anymore and they're not going to be targeting crypto projects, but it looks like they are still getting funding. They're still going to be, you know, here to target crypto. And for the longest time, they have been trying to kill us. So I do not support the idea that like, you know, tax money is literally going to the SEC for them to waste it on just, you know, clear, you know, we look at it as, you know, just targeting you know projects in an irresponsible way because now they are stuck in this litigation process with ripple and ripple seems to be doing great and the sec is going after multiple other projects at the same time you know wasting a ton of money and wasting a ton of time to me this is just not a way to do you know business at all especially if you want you know regulations stop talking about regulations and start delivering on it and also we do see, you know, Justin, US, you know, SEC Chair Gary Gensler is reportedly, you know, proposing a single rule book approach to regulate all cryptocurrency trading. And we do see what does that rule book say? Everything's a security. And this is also, you know, as funny as it is, you know, that's probably exactly what it is. Like, you know, it, it's just targeting crypto since day one. And I do want to talk to you guys about this. So we did see uh, Coinbase launch its first crypto derivative, you know, product. Uh, next week in the midst of the you know current crypto you know winner so 
this is going to be actually pretty large. Remember when we were talking about, you know, XRP, for example, going after all of the money um, and we really kind of talked about the derivatives market. All right. You probably don't remember. It's totally fine. In regard to the de uh, derivatives market, this is actually the next big stepping stone for crypto, in my opinion. We do see here, um, you know, digital assets backed by derivatives, the next big thing. In my regards, actually, to this, I do think that the derivatives market will actually be backed by digital assets instead. Um, but it definitely is something interesting to see because, again, at the end of the day, when we really kind of talked about this market size, this is, a, this is over a one quadrillion dollar market. And you could see all the other markets here in regards to, you know, bonds and things like that. Um, yeah, this is the big money. So I do think that this is actually a pretty good thing from Coinbase. Um, but I also think that it's going to open the doors for a lot more products within that space to be realized. And I do think that Ripple, you know, has, you know, right now currently the upper hand in regards to that market. And, uh, you know, will they basically be at the forefront of, you know, deriv derivatives? It's hard to say, right? Um, to me personally, like when we really kind of look at this market and we look at what, you know, for example, XRP is doing um, in regards to being like a settlement token or a bridge currency within the Ripple network, you know, it is possible. I definitely do think that it is, you know, possible to me. Um, but we'll definitely see, you know, how, you know, this works out. Uh, we have to really kind of see what, uh, you know, for example, like Coinbase is doing with this product. We don't know exactly the, you know, idea around it or anything like that, but I'm definitely paying attention to this. And I do think that everybody else should be paying attention to this because this is a large amount of money. And talking about large amounts of money, and this is where I'm going to leave um, off on in regards to this video. Uh, we have uh, Tim Draper here talking about the overall crypto market. Listen closely to this. I like the idea of a government that is, creates a great platform for everybody to participate equally. I mean, fairly and equally. Because if, you, if everybody participates, then they all have a pretty good shot at participating in this. This is going to be the biggest deal in the history of the universe. We have never seen a technology that, is, that can potentially affect this many trillion dollar industries. Never. And this is going to be it. And, and you want everybody to be able to participate. So if somehow you put a law in there that says you got to be a millionaire to participate, no, 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 oh, no. well, that's what the law does no, say. No, you no, know that's no, what no, it but, says. But what you Wait, it is what it says. First say that. No, it says, it says, no, 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 no. I'm going to, I'm okay. going to, no, oh, no, 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 I know where you're going. No, no, you know. I know where you're going. Let okay, me I'll let you say. And I love to see this because, of course, yes, you know, he's arguing with Gary Gensler and Gary Gensler is, you know, being stressed out. We see him stressing here. It's funny. And you guys can go watch this entire breakdown here. Um, it's like a whole on. Uh, it's almost like, a, I guess, fireside chat. And you guys can go watch it. It's from uh, Cowboy Crypto. He posted this uh, just earlier. And it is actually pretty funny. Uh, but it is true. Like, you know, this is going to be the largest move in the history of finance, in the history of any sort of, you know, money-making tactic. I mean, like, I would say that this is the modern day, you know, gold rush and, you know, we are holding the shovels. And I really do say like, at the end of the day, when you look at it, like trillions of dollars will, will pour into this market. And it's going to happen very fast if regulations could be done right. And if regulations are in, you know, the hand of this man, it's not going to be looking pretty good. Um, so I do look at like, you know, in regards to like participation in regards to this market, um, you know, I do think that everybody should have, you know, the opportunity to get into this market, invest in this technology, do their research, understand exactly what they are investing into and, uh, you know, be able to participate. I do completely agree with Tim Draper. And I also do completely agree with the fact that, you know, trillions of dollars will pour into this market and it's going to happen, you know, overnight again, if regulations could be done right. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on if you guys have more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free discord down in the description below. As always, after you all have a beautiful day or beautiful night, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, this has been Nick. Peace out guys.